Here's how you can use the Animation on Bacon tool in Cascadeur. For example, I have this mocap here. This animation is baked, which means every frame is a keyframe. Now to make this animation ready for editing, we can use the Animation on Bacon tool. But before we do that, make sure that your character has rig controllers. If it doesn't, then you first have to create the rig controllers using the Quick Rigging tool and then import the animation into the scene. Also, if you are using the character which was rigged in the previous versions of Cascader, you will have to update the rig. To do that, simply go to the rig mode and then go back. Now that we have the rig controllers, we can turn on the auto physics. We'll need that to make sure that the fulcrum points are recognized correctly, because the unbaking process will fully depend on it when setting up keyframes. The fulcrum points will appear outlined green in the viewport. Most of the times the fulcrum points are recognized correctly, but let's just double check it anyway. For example, here we can see the toad touching the ground and the points are correctly outlined green. Now the same goes for the heel. Here the toes of the other foot lifted from the ground. Now here's a bit of a problem. See, the foot has not fully been planted on the ground, but the points are already considered to be fulcrum. That should not be that much of a problem here. However, you can change the settings of the fulcrum points. To do that, select all the points of the feet, select the frames on the timeline, in the object properties, make sure that apply and selected interval is enabled. Then open up the fulcrum point tab and adjust these two settings. The first parameter is the height in centimeters upon which the point is recognized as fulcrum. The second one is the distance the point can travel within a frame and still be considered fulcrum. You can learn more about fulcrum points in the dedicated video. In this case, I'll just lower the second value to 0.3 and that should make it more accurate. These parameters may be different for different scenes. Now let's just check the rest of the animation real quick. You can always use the Fulcrum Motion Cleaning tool. It's completely optional, but it may help you reduce the noise and the feed sliding. Now that we're happy with the Fulcrum points, we can proceed with animation on baking. So select the frames of the animation and click this button here. As you can see, it has automatically set the keyframes and chosen the best interpolation methods, keeping the animation as close to the original as possible. Now this animation can be easily edited. For example, I can fix the position of the arms. Also note how the unbaking process alone helps clean up the animation from some glitches. You can clearly see the way the pelvis flicks in the original animation, but in the unbaked version, the flex are fully gone. You can adjust the unbaking parameters in the Scene Settings tab here. Interpolation difference determines the density of the keyframes after the unbaking, where 1 is the max value, and as you can see, almost every other frame has been left as a keyframe. Therefore, the animation remained the closest to the original. Now let's see what happens if we increase this value. There's much less keyframes left on the timeline, however, the animation is still very close to the original. The other parameters determine the active points in the auto-posing rig. They are the direction difference, position difference and pose similarity. The pose similarity being the accepted similarity between the keys. The direction difference is measured in degrees, and the position difference and pose similarity are measured in centimeters. The reason these settings exist is to make it easier to further adjust the poses. If I set all of them to 1, I will get the pose which fully copies the original. But it will be tricky to add it because every controller you would have to move manually. Higher values will result in the pose to be slightly changed. However, I will get a lot of green inactive points, which will make it much easier to add the pose. You can use different values for different intervals of the animation. Also, animation on baking can be split into three different stages, where each of them can be used as a separate tool. For example, setting the keyframes for the fulcrum points only. 
it will result in the animation with fixed interpolation where the keys only mark the frames where the fulcrum points change. The next step is setting up additional keyframes and choosing interpolation methods for the intervals. And the last one is adjusting the active points of the auto-posing rig.